don't bite me there, chat. I'll, uh, I'll just, you know, I'll just keep pushing buttons. I know the bell is B for bell. Look, yeah, see, look, anytime I like, I have started. There we go, see? <laughs> right, okay, good. Where are we? I need to push a button. I'll oh, push a button. Hang on, which button am I pushing? I don't know. Hold on. Wait. I'm not. I'm not really queued up. Uh, it could be this one. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I think it's that one. Is it this one? No, that's please wait. That's no good to anybody. It's this. This one. Good evening, everybody. Uh, it's lovely to see you here on a Saturday. And uh, uh, you know, we're uh, we're off on the uh, on the old San Francisco line here, and uh, and doing a bit of Peninsula Corridor and uh, and all of that kind of jazz. In uh, in this. Yonder baby bullets. And, uh, oh, hold on, no, should we do the bell test now? Should we do the bell test now? It's, I mean, where's... Someone tell me where the bell's located. Because uh, we've got to see if it's got the unnecessary feature of, uh, of the bell actually being struck. Or is it just playing it out of the loudspeaker? Because they do that sometimes, you know. I'll say hello to everyone in a minute. Um, uh, we'll, we'll, see how, we'll see how it's going. Just, just saying, just saying. Underneath, yeah. Well, I, I thought it might be. Uh, I don't, because you know, I'm a, I'm a sucker for a bell striker, as you know, and uh, and therefore we might, uh, we might have to have a look for it. Uh, there we are. No, no. That's, that's a fuel tank. Is it at the back? It's, it seems unlikely that it'd be at the back, doesn't it? Uh, no, just you know, a bit of exhaust fumage. Are you in here? Can I open this hatch and have a look? Emergency access, brilliant. Uh, cut along dash point to get uh, to get access. Uh, in most most units are e-bell. Ah, fooey. Okay, right now I need to turn the uh, game dot volume down a little bit, which is unfortunate, and the microphone's right over my face, which is really helpful because uh, you know I'm not a male model. No, I'm a I'm a model citizen. There's a difference. All right, there we go. That's that's probably a little bit better. Um, right, good. So yeah, we're going to do this like timetable mode job. So we'll do, we'll do a quick restart. There you go, quick restart. Uh, yeah, please. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. I'll give you the I'll give you the works because quite satisfying is uh, is just the ability to uh, to to actually fire this thing up in the first place. It took me a couple of times. Anyway, let's say hello to a few people. Uh, train simulator enthusiasts. Uh, nice to see you, Richard. Nice to see you, Olson. Nice to see you, Stinky. Nice to see you. Uh, the Union Pacific uh, GP40 6886. Nice to see you. Uh, the Soviet Train Spotter. Nice to see you, Kyle. And Crazy Daddy, of course. And Vert Munchen is here. And uh, uh, Milk's in the house. Uh, New Jersey Transit is uh, in the building. Rail fans here. And RTL and only me. And Ryan and Lewis. And the Ace Gamer. And Peter the Clausen. And, uh, and uh, Niall is here. And Love, love Trains. And uh, Len's in the house, as is uh, as is several other people. Peter's here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Sophie's around. And Humundo is here. And now that Hugh's here, we can get underway. Not Ace Gamer 07's flung a rock with a, his hands in the air. If, you don't, if you're not on Mixer, you don't see any of this. It's total rubbish, but it's beautiful. At the same time, Kuza and Jibber Jabber are here. Good. Right, let's... Uh, oh, I've got the doors open. I need to fire up this beast. Now then, I have to tilt my head to the side because, uh, you know, it's a bit on the wall. We'll fire them up. I didn't even use a tutorial. I used my instincts for this, you know. Uh, let's uh, let's fire the old train up. There you go. That's on. Wang that over here. There we go. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure what the hep is, so I leave that alone. It seems to work just fine without it. Someone will tell me in a minute. No, you've got to you've got to have your hep on. Reading light for me, please. Now I'm putting the, I'm putting the rear headlights on dim just because I feel like it. Uh, putting the front one on uh, on bright, which is probably not correct procedure, but that's how I'm rolling at the moment. Uh, let's lock up the doors. And anything else I need to do? Oh, uh, valve cut off to Passage. And then I think, oh no, no you're going to need to wang that into uh, in a full service. There you go. Get the brake pressures up. And there we go. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you stand up and do it? Oh, good thought. Yeah, I could have done, but didn't. So, <laughs> oh, there you go. Hep, head end power. Well, that seems like a thing we want. Okay, hang on. I'll, I'll, hep, I'll hep on. There you go. Done. Yeah, yeah. We might as well hep on. Hep, hep it, uh, hep it like a good one. Right. We are good to go. Except we're not. Uh, 
uh, right. If we uh, if we release the old break here, and then uh, and then we give the throttle a dab of action. So I've not done it. What haven't I done? You haven't put the reverser into forwards. Okay, good. It's always something, but just forwards. Forwards will be sufficient. Thank you. Uh, and then there you go. Amps coming up. We're on our way. Now this flashing yellow light here is flipping misleading. I've I've had a couple of swings at this opening 30 seconds because what I like to do is uh, is you know leave you with some engine noise while we're uh, while we're waiting. I'm going to go with it. Because uh, the two times that I've done it beforehand, I got uh, I got spadded here. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that's probably okay. Seems to be okay. All right, okay, we're rolling. Uh, good, going too fast, obviously. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that goes without saying. No idle. You've got to you've got to do the brake on the brake. All right, there we are. There we are. It's all good. It's all good. I need to uh, just won't be a sec. There you go. Uh, right, back in the chat. Yep. Uh, release that again. There we are. Just roll. Just, just roll, man. Just roll. Horn. There you go. Obviously, the horn is, uh, you know, it's outside, so we can't really hear it so well. We'll, uh, we'll go and do, we'll do the obvious, uh, the obvious fly pasts uh, when the need arises. Now, I'd, uh, some of you may go, what well, do you mean you're not playing a scenario? What's wrong with you? Are you uh, where are, who are you? Are you real? Uh, to which I say, yes, and, uh, and then... I've done them all. Uh, I've golded all the scenarios for this already. You know, it's never, never happened before ever in, ever in my life. There you go. Uh, right. I'll, I'll give you a, a, a little bit more toot on the horn uh, once we're, once we're underway, um, and uh, and then it, you know, then it'll be grand. Uh, the is that the Mar Margerison? Margerison. Margerison. Home Studio says, hey, yo. Right, uh, good, and uh, Zero, hi you, ah, uh, hi to you too, friend, uh, nice to see you. Right, we're, we've got six and a bit miles to go to our destination, so we'll turn that off. I'll, f I'll, I'll have to turn it back on, otherwise I'll forget that we're supposed to be going somewhere, and, and that'll be perilous at best. Am I going to fail today? I never know, I never know. I, uh, uh, we're not at grip it and rip it mode yet, we've got to wait until we've got uh, a speed limit upgrade. Which is not for a little while, which means that I might as well take us outside a bit. Let's have some uh, hoot. There you go. Save it to the cloud. Look, cloud storage solutions of Santa Clara, which is lovely. Yeah, there you go. That's a that's a lot of train you've got going on there. You PNU Pacific. Um, yeah. Uh, not Ace Gamer, I'm going to be uh, off and on because I'm making a Greg's Pasty current. You're making a Greg's Pasty? Do they have a recipe book or some such? Why would you make one? I mean, I mean why would you eat one for starters? But why would. Why? Why? I, I don't understand. Oh, we can go a bit. Alright, hang on, let's, uh, let's up the tempo. Right, tempo is being increased. Lots of lights going on here. Clearly, the top one applies to us. Because uh, that's what me signal uh, doofus is saying at the top corner there. Right, okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, bring it up a bit. What's a Greg's pasty? Uh, Greg's pasty is a, uh, a a piece of baked goods with uh, meat and vegetables inside it uh, from the establishment Greg's, who are well known for supplying uh, a very, very tasty, but uh, incredibly bad for you, uh, basic baked food products. Um, I don't think I'm doing a disservice in saying that because I did say it was tasty. So, uh, so there you go. Yeah, but Greg's has got a bit of a reputation. Uh, there you are. Yeah. Uh, Greg's has released the recipe for the sauce for the sausage and bean pasty. Crikey. Okay. Uh, pasty is a it's a, a pastry kind of parcel kind of deal kind of thing, uh, originating in in Cornwall of all places. Uh, the Cornish pasty. Is a uh, is a protected name in uh, in Europe, well in the EU anyway, uh, because uh, it has to come from Cornwall. Can't call it a Cornish pasty if it's not from. Lots of trains here. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm giving you enough train credit at the moment, but uh, yeah, we're getting them all. Cornish pasties are amazing. They are. I do have the windows open. Uh, we're just uh, I've got it gripped. We're we're waiting to rip. There we go. All right. I've given it full monkey. 
Uh, right, that's off, isn't it? Yeah. I can't give it any more monkey than I've got at the moment. You know what? I'm going to pulse my ditch lights. Pulse my ditch lights. Hey, hey, hey. Um, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, that's just something I like doing. Uh, right. There you go. 79 miles per hour is a weird speed restriction. I was pretty sure it was 75. Um, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Uh, right. Okay. Now we're going. Right. Let's get a bit of... Oh, let's just, just watch a little bit of action. Everything's more or less under control at the moment. We can we can take a moment to uh, to appreciate some action. There you go, action, right there. Okay, we got we got all this tunnel malarkey to get through for a little while to start with. My telly's broken again. Uh, I bet there's a button that turns it on, you know, and I bet you people know where it is because you'll have you'll have spent time when you first got in the cab. I know you people. You'll have spent time in the cab to start with, just going, what's this one? What's this one? What's this one? What's this one? What does this one do? What does this one do? And this one? What does that do? Oh, what's that one? I need. What's the blue one all about? Nothing. It doesn't do anything, but it's simulating a thing that does the thing. Great. Uh, have a taco. You're hungry. Nothing wrong with tacos. Like tacos. Sorry, tacos. Uh, tacos, as you uh, as you like to call them. There. Uh, we had 4.5 mile hype a moment ago, but you all missed it. Uh, no, you're just nice. No, too late for no. You missed it. No, no, no. You, I mean, even with a little bit of stream delay, you came in at 4.4 miles there, and uh, and that's just not gonna that's not gonna cut it. All right, let's stick this on coast. There you go. Not set up. Set up's no good to me. Idle, please. There we are. Good. Uh, right. There we are. Rolling. Rolling is what we are. Uh, apparently, my streams and videos are brilliant. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Uh, they're chaotic, uh, but they're 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 positive. It's positive chaos is what I bring to the party. Uh, I, I do it because I have fun with it. And that's that's all there is to it. If I wasn't having fun, I wouldn't do it. And, uh, you know, here we go. Sun Visor review. I review the Sun Visor in this all the time. It's completely worthless. I mean, just, I mean, honest, just come off it. I mean, this, this train is basically science fiction. And, uh, you know, and it's, it's just nothing. Look, it feels like a big spaceship, all right? It might not be the most advanced tech in the world, but it feels like a spaceship. Um, there you are. Yeah, there we go. And family-friendly. Certainly is. Uh, spoonerisms notwithstanding. I got in trouble once. Not on this channel, on my own. Because uh, I keep my own stuff relatively family-friendly as well. Um, uh, yeah, the accidental spoonerism. And uh, the, the crowd went wild totally accidental yeah we have a saying in these parts and that is the colonel keeps it clean uh, right onwards we go 2.3 miles to Bay Shore. great nice uh, window see that's closed that's open yeah I don't think you get or is it no that's open that's open now I don't think you get enough interior noise in this camp you know oh we're going a bit a uh, bit on the swift side here let's uh, Let's ease that down. Oh, it's only it was only a via. It's okay. Sorry, sorry. There you go. It was only a via. We don't actually have to stop. All right. Okay. There we are. Oh, and now we can grip it again. So I'm trying to pay attention to too many things at once, and not just looking at the salient information. That is so hang on, I've broken it. Yep, it's broken. I've got no amps. We're rolling at the moment. Okay. All right. Okay. So, so what are you going to do about that? All right, right, we'll stick this back onto idle or set up. Set up's good. Yeah. Then what? I did. I fl did. I flick it into. Uh, I can't have done. I didn't. I didn't flick it into emergency, did I? I'd have noticed. I'd have noticed flicking it into emergency, but yeah. But I've broken it. Now I've got some amps. Okay. Now let's try gripping it. No, nothing. Maybe it's because I'm going full full beans. Maybe it needs fewer beans in order to be happy. No, it's not happy with any beans at all. Oh, okay. All right, go on. There we go. That's got it. I don't know what I did there, but the amps are now coming back up again. That's that's odd. That is odd. Now, if anyone could tell me what I did there, um, I'm uh, you know I'm at a loss to understand it myself. Right, let's get the speed back up again. No, weird. 
I tell you, it's a little amp gauge at the bottom there. I don't fully understand it, but what I do know is if it says zero, you ain't going anywhere. Uh, except, you know, through the power of gravity. And uh, just, uh, I, I'd done something, but I, I failed to know what, uh, what exactly I'd done. I don't think it was the e-brake. I didn't see the e-brake. I don't think it was. And usually, if you do, if you if you if you pull the e-brake, you have to come to a full stop, and then uh, recharge your brake pressures, and the brake pressures were still fine, and uh, but it it didn't want any of that. I clearly just balked something a little bit, and now it's now it's unbalked again. Keep your eye on the prize as far as speed limits go. Come on, man. Not set up. I want idle, please. Thank you. All right. Okay, 5.2 miles to go. Here we go. I'll give you a fighting chance at, at clocking it this time. 5.1 to go. This train looks really futuristic. I know. I love it. Look at it. Yeah, and yet it's not. Um, you know, it's uh, it's not actually that hardcore futuristic. It is quite hardcore in being a, a, a big beefcake of a train. Here we go. Let's try this. Yeah, are we all feeling it? I think we are. There we are. I've obviously I've slipped behind some scenery there, but uh, but there it is. Right, back on board. Here we go, people. Pay attention. Pay attention. Wait for it. Now. There it is. Vert's in. Woohoo! Seven point two kilometer hype. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, that was a that was a nice one. You touching it was the problem. Yeah, it probably was. Um, I need double decker trains in the UK. I would agree with you, except for the fact that you're going to have to uh, you're going to have to improve your infrastructure all over the place because uh, you know bridges and whatnot they're not hooked up for double deckers in the slightest. Uh, so that I mean there'll be some routes where you can make it work, I'm sure, but on the majority you're you're stuffed by uh, by the tunnel makings of, uh, of Mr. Brunel. Um, certainly London would you are anyway uh, so uh, you know there's there's not a lot we can do about that right mile and a bit and we've got to slow to 65 which we will do uh, yeah so there you go will Dovetail make a bus in the world you know what I don't think that's ever been whoa <laughs> <laughs> sorry I know that the camera's allowed to just slide through stuff, but that rather took me by surprise. <laughs> oh, crumbs! Hit by a train. Um, <clears throat> yeah, no, just, no, that, that took me by surprise. Um, were they? And he's got knowledge. Uh, Double Decker were trialled and failed in the UK. Where else? Where, which, uh, which part of the country? So, from the 50s through to the 70s. Uh, I mean, was it all over the place, or was it specific lines? That was the uh, that was the level crossing there. At 88 miles an hour, we're going to see some serious stuff. You can use the, the PG version. See, that's that's all going. Um, yeah, I don't think we're done. I'll, you know, I'm gonna I'll I'll push it to 88 if I ruin it. But uh, but otherwise, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to uh, at least somewhat uh, abide by the speed limit. How far have we got? Two and a half miles to roll. Okay, this is all good. It's a nice route, this. It's a nice route, and it's a nice part of the world as well. I mean, you know, not notwithstanding uh, everything, uh, but it is it is a nice part of the world. I'm not, I, I do like a bit of uh, a bit of California. Uh, what's the next route? I don't know. Can't tell you. Well, can't tell you because I don't know. There you are. <laughs> that's as that's as straightforward an answer as I can give you that. Um, uh, where did we go? Did I do the thing and ask about the stats? No, I didn't. No, no, I didn't. I completely forgot. Again, uh, I even wrote it on my piece of paper, and then just didn't pay attention to my piece of paper. I tell you what, I will fish out the stats first, and then I'll I'll clear them to go through. And uh, and if it's felt to be interesting enough, then maybe we can make a feature of it. We can drop in a uh, a leaderboard stat section. I'm, you know, I'm thinking about stuff like, you know, what are the most used uh, routes and locos and all of that kind of stuff, and, uh, uh, you know, what kind of, I don't know, what else we, can we see? I've got a load of research stuff, so, uh, so you know, I can probably drop some of that knowledge on you. Um, it's just a matter of 
clearing it with the boss. Uh, yeah, don't forget to stop. I'm not going to forget to stop. Uh, do I design stuff? Jai, 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 Jai. I'm going to go with Jai. Um, no, I don't design stuff. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I basically do research. There you go. Yeah, uh, it's it's my job to help the uh, help the design team and the the company as a whole make the right decisions. And I do that by uh, by testing various different bits and pieces with regular playing folk like you, and uh, and by you know uh, surveying you once in a while and that kind of thing. Does anyone like your surname? I got no problem with your surname. I just don't know how to pronounce it. That's the only problem I got there. Uh, the Margarison, Mar Margarison, Margarison. I like that one. Um, watch out for those trains, or I'll end up inside. We'll go the other way again. I rather enjoyed that being the ghosts out of the Matrix 2. Yeah, that was that was quite good. I enjoyed it. There we go. Here we go. There we are. Uh, yeah, so so yeah, so I do I do research and what have you. Um, but because I'm a I'm a video goofball in my spare time, they asked me to do some video goofing on behalf of Dovetail. And so I went, alright. Because, you know, I don't need much of an invitation. Uh, and there you go. But I, I'm, only, I'm only part time, so it's not a full, it's not a full time gig. I only do three days a week. Uh, hold on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep. That's good. Nice. No, this, this is looking all right. This is looking all right. Ease it off a bit. Yeah, a bit of initial. Initial's good. We like initial. It's subtle, uh, but doesn't have a doesn't have a stingy cloying aftertaste. There you go. Just gently rock it around a bit. 20 yards, 10 yards, give it give it the juice there, and we're about right. How far do we miss by? Three yards, I'll take it. Uh, right, unlock the doors. Right, go for the traditional wonder. Woohoo! Breaks both his legs and runs up the platform. I've been here before. Milbray, in fact, I've been here quite a bit. Uh, what do we want to see, people? Do we want to see how far we can get before I have to oh, flip an egg? They're not wasting any time. I haven't got long. Do you mind? I'm trying to do it. Oh, I'm stuck down it. I'm trapped between train and platform. See, and then you get inside this and you go, Oh, no. Oh, it's one of these where you don't get enough leg room. Where they make you sit facing someone else without a table. And even with a table, uh, you just, it's just uncomfortable. Because there's not enough leg room. Um, you know, I'm, I'm quite a big lad, as you know. And... Uh, uh, you know, but I'm only I'm, I'm only six foot tall. Uh, you know, I'm not massively tall, but even then, just not enough room. If I were to put my knees out on, uh, you know, put me, you know, keep my feet underneath my knees as you're supposed to, sat in polite company, it's not enough room for someone else to do the same unless we interthread our legs. And you kind of go, not without dinner and a movie first. I right, come on. Uh, right, left the door open again. It's on purpose. I want more ventilation than I'm currently getting. Do you, do you think it's not going to let me do it? All right, I'll try opening the door once we're underway. And uh, and if it, if if it doesn't let me open the door when we're underway, I'm going to complain to Mr. Matt Pedelson because uh, because that's not good. I need the I need the freedom to be able to unlock and open stuff any time I flip in. Please, let's play with the blind a little bit more. I've got to wait until. I've got another 20 seconds to wait. However, will I fill the time? Doing this, I expect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, it's, this keeps me amused all day. Woohoo! Yeah. And that's enough of that. Bring up the whatnot. Lock it. Right. Okay. I reckon that's probably good. Uh, right. Let's uh, ease this one off. San Mateo. 1904. A good year. Right, I've got a P7 is a little bit, you know, give it a fighting chance to get a grip there. Flipping it, right? Give it a hoot. Stop touching stuff. I'm allowed to touch it. It's all in my train. Uh, is it possible to get into the engine room on this loco? I don't know. Uh, what are we doing at the moment? P3. Okay, let's get up and have a look, shall we? No. No, they've they've prevented me from doing so. I mean, I could I could try going outside the door, 
but uh, no, I've I've done quite a lot of that kind of caper in the last couple of days, and it's never ended well. What have we got going on here? Oh, this is oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of information going on here. I mean, you know, I mean, look at the wiring. You know, someone's someone's done that. Right, get back in. Four miles, just under, to uh, to our next stop. That's good. Right, punch it. Let's give it large. Uh, right. Okay, uh, now Avanti West Coast is wanting a third class of seating with peasant seating 3x2, so 3x3 facing and no table on a pendo for a long journey. You know what they should do, right, is just have some coaches with no seats. You could pack so many more people. Obviously, you know, you'll have coaches with seats, um, and but you can make them all a, you know, if you need a seat, sit in the seat thing, but uh, go stand in the standing one. If you brought luggage, leave it behind. There's no room. Uh, we're going to treat you like cattle anyway, so, uh, you know, let's, let's make you all stand up. Pack more people in. Uh, TFL, are you listening? They should. They should. Social distancing. Obviously, it doesn't work for social distancing, unless, of course, they shrink wrap you on the way in. That could work. But, I mean, that's before we get to, uh, to my revolutionary ideas for air travel. Because uh, I hate travelling by plane. Hate it. I mean, I don't mind the whole plane aspect of it. You know, the best bits are when you're taking off. Takeoffs are amazing. Landing's good fun. Manoeuvring around, love that too. Uh, turbulence, quite a fan of that. That's quite exciting. Um, it's just the endless hours of boredom uh, where the oxygen isn't right and uh, you're surrounded by smelly other people. And you get off at the other end and you just smell wrong. You just, there's just a bad, a bad smell. And then there's the boredom on a poxy little television that's about that big. And you're, you're, you're trying to watch a movie while someone is occupying more than their chair. Usually me, actually, because uh, I'm quite wide. Uh, occupying more than my chair's worth. Uh, it's just a miserable, miserable, miserable experience. So, here's how you fix air travel. Right, step one. Uh, a nice person comes to your house and knocks you out uh, using, you know, pharmaceutical grades, this and that and the other. No, oh, I'm on one, but I'm doing the whole of this now. I know it's a mile and a half to go. There you go. You can see where it is. Um, right? They they put you under, right? And then they put you in a box. Uh, you've you've got a label attached to you, you know, like you'd use for DHL or UPS or whatever. Um, that tells them where you're going, and it's the it's your hotel or your you know or your home or whatever. And then they they, they fling you in the back of the van. Uh, you know your luggage is all in the box anyway. You can carry as much as you can get in the box with you, basically. And uh, they then uh, they then fling the box. Uh, they stack them in the aeroplane, and uh, and then they deliver the box to the hotel room. They check you in, right? They they do all zapping and all that kind of business. Swipe your credit card. You're probably prepaid. Um, stick you in your hotel room, and uh, and put you into uh, into recovery mode. Yeah, I reckon they'll only be oh I don't know half a dozen maybe adverse reactions to the drugs a year uh, that will you know unfortunately take a few people out. But uh, I imagine the airlines have got the insurance to cover that kind of thing, so it'll probably be fine. Yeah, take all the misery out of it. You haven't got to. You haven't got to turn up to the airport early, or if you do, you don't care. That's the other thing, of course. That's why trains are superior to planes every single day of the week. Is uh, trains don't make you turn up six hours before your flight. I exaggerate because I care. Um, yeah, no. You turn up if the train's there. You run. You jump. You're on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. And then of course, unless, you know, that's not allowed if you're one of those people who, uh, who are late getting on the train and, uh, and you decide to wade through the whole of the train, uh, excuse me, people who are already standing up, uh, you know, are just kind of going, oh yeah, yeah, because clearly there's a magic seat further down the other end that's waiting just for you. Just <laughs> rubbish. Yeah. You time travel when you fly, you take off, go to sleep, wait, landing up. Yeah, I can't sleep on planes. 
I, I, it's, I, it's a combination of the air and the general discomfort. Uh, that's all there is to it. So, yeah, uh, just knock me out. Thank you. There we go. How would your co workers at DTG describe me? Um, uh, the smartest man in any room, um, a riot of colour and sound. Uh, what else? Just, I'm deeply inspiring. Uh, probably, the one, the one they might well use is uh, does he still work here? There you go, that's, that's possibly one that they use. Yeah. Yeah, I come and go in mysterious ways, you know. Because uh, uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of working from home. Uh, there you are. Yeah. Is there a second man? I hope not. Otherwise, I've been ignoring them this whole time. No, there isn't. <laughs> it's just where we checked, huh? Uh, right, Redwood City. 79 mile per hour is the limit. Okay, no, Vert, you were on the money. Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, you were on the money. Just, there you are. Man with the best voice on the internet, says Bingo Handman. Uh, I, I, I doubt it. And a comedian. Yeah. yeah and a comedian. And a comedian. Uh, yes. I like to lark about. I think that there are far too many things that you can take far too seriously in life. And therefore, uh, entertainment of a visual nature, uh, and a, a, you know, a video game nature, however you want to position it, is not something that you should take too seriously. If you can if you can take fun out of it, no matter how you're using it, you're using it right. That's my philosophy. There you are. Uh, Guga! Good afternoon. I, I like your name. Anything that I can pronounce in a bombastic fa uh, fashion works for me. Uh, Diamarker 100. Hello. Good. Rudy likes the game. Woohoo! Uh, it's geographical distancing, not social distancing. Alright, whatever. Uh, uh, just 78 viewers uh, 152 I think you'll find if you combine all the channels together uh, we're at 152 is our uh, our cruising at altitude uh, Lord Pigster of Sweden how is Sweden this evening uh, there you go. Uh, what was my first video game system or PC was a BBC B yeah they are 7 mile height too early we don't hype seven miles. No, 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 no. I eight whole viewers on Mixer. Let's go, Mixer. You have the power to make sure we continue broadcasting on Mixer. I know there are there are debates afoot about uh, about giving Mixer the heave ho. Yeah, yeah. We'll ever play SnowRunner. Never say never. Uh, how many channels are there? There are three channels. Three. One is Mixer, which currently has eight people viewing. Um, uh, number two is the Twitch. Twitch is usually in second place. And then number one is the YouTube. There we are. MG Bot. Hey. Good. Uh, rich Tastes. No, not really. Um, no. Uh, my dad was a teacher. And, uh, and he, managed to, he, he managed to hijack one from school. Or rather, they ran some kind of program where you could get one on the cheap. Uh, so he did. And, uh, and that's how we ended up with the BBC. Yeah. Because, and also, because my dad was a teacher, he always, he always said uh, that, you know, computers should be used for educational purposes. I went, yeah, 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 educational purposes. Totally, totally. That's all I'm going to use it for. Just, just totally educational purposes. That's all I want it for. Just all education all day, Dad. You betcha. <laughs> and then I played Elite a lot. Uh, Jerome, hi from France. Hi, Jerome. Nice to see you. Uh, the Socialist Pianist. Hello. Good. Okay. Fine. Uh, Bob Le Lises. Lesses? Lises. Uh, Cellino. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. What? What? I forgive you. Plus Elite was ace on the beat. Uh, the elite, playing Elite on the BBC was the only way to play it. Uh, good. Horn. Sorry, Stinky. Forgot. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do. Uh, we'll do the extended dance remix of the horn. Hold on. Hold on. I've got a. I've got a plan. Right. How fast am I going? Yeah, I've got it. Whoa. 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 Leave the flipping reverser alone. Right. Let's get over here. Four point five mile height. Thank you. There you are. The game is lagging. It's not so much that I notice. Seems to be all right here. 
Uh, right, here we go. <clears throat> right, ready? Here we go. Wait for it. And... Not a bad bit of Doppler there. Not bad at all. Um, yeah, that was that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I like it. Uh, I chose I chose kind of sunset to do today, but this this is kind of you know it's got this kind of ominous end of time sky deal going on here at the moment. Uh, I mean, the only thing that would be more terrifying was if it was a bit red. Uh, I don't, I don't, so you know, keep your wits about you. We don't know if this is it. If this is our final journey. You'll never know. Um, right. Uh, Belmont Station. Horn, bell, oh, all the buttons. I've turned the bell off. There you go. I'm going. Uh, this map is whoa, says Jerome. <laughs> yeah, nice. Uh, that's a good way of describing it. Uh, you're driving a bullet train. I brought London to Brighton yesterday. Looking forward to playing it. Uh, London to Brighton route on, obviously, it's not on Train Simulator, it's on Train Simulator, but uh, that was the first modern era train simulator route, the uh, train simulator route that I played, and that was before I worked for, uh, for Dutto. Uh, I had Microsoft Train Simulator and, uh, and used to just blow up the, uh, uh, the Flying Scotsman all the time, uh, but that was back in oh, 2002, so. Somewhere. Last train to Grand Central. Trans Central, I think we'll find. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Is the M9 coming to Train Sim World? Don't know. Ah, uh, never say never. That's my that's my new answer to that one. Uh, I have no information for you with that regard. Uh, don't forget to stop at the stations. I know it's two miles to go. It's all right. What was that? Uh, so did DTG find you or you found them? Uh, I used to work with uh, with Paul, who's the head of the company. I used to work with him at Electronic Arts. Uh, so uh, so we knew each other from ages ago. Uh, but after I stopped working at Activision, I was doing consulting. So I hit them up and, and said, like, do you want me to do some a bit of, a bit of consulting? This was probably seven years ago, six years ago, seven years ago, something like that. And uh, so I did a, I did a consulting job for them. And uh, and then last year, this time last year, uh, they were, you know, they asked if I wanted to uh, to come and do another bit of consulting for them. So I did, and they said actually that was that was really useful. Do you want to do some more? And I said yeah, all right. Uh, I need to be braking a little bit more vigorously than I am doing at the moment. Hold on, pay attention. Uh, do you have any scrum masters or agile coaches at DTG? Uh, not as such. No, it, uh, they don't use they don't use agile. Um, uh, they, it's it's not an inagile uh, approach that is being used. I couldn't tell you actually. I don't know if they've got a uh, a a traditional development philosophy behind the way they do things. The the heads of, of development all come from traditional game development. So uh, so whether it, I imagine they're probably waterfalling in some fashion or another. Uh, but I couldn't tell you for sure. But I'm pretty sure they do scrum meetings, or, the, or rather they do a, like a daily stand-up, but I think the daily stand-up has become useful in multiple departments. Um, uh, certainly, you know, I've, I've introduced it when working in marketing departments and things like that, so uh, uh, I think that's kind of percolated out as a good way to make sure everyone's aligned, generally speaking. There you go. Yeah, I'll, I'll be corrected. If Matt's if Matt's paying attention, he'll tell you for sure. But uh, yeah, I think it's it's kind of scrum esque, but not not fully agile. <clears throat> there we go. Here we go. Ah, right, sixteen miles per hour. Come on, take it easy. We're not there yet. There you go. With ten miles per hour to go, we don't need to start braking properly until here, and then you can then we can apply some easing it down, easing it down. Easing it down too much. Don't ease it down so much. There we go. We've got within single digit yards at both stops so far. I see no reason we can't do this again. There we go. Right. That's it. Yeah. That'll do the trick. Minor, minor overshoot. But only with the low coat. Three yards again. Who's the best? Oh yeah, that's me. Let's go for a stroll. Right. See, saved a bit of time there by leaving the door open. What can we see over the safety netting here? 
Uh, is New Jersey Transit coming to Train Sim World? Never say never. I have no information for you with that regard. Oh, I yeah, yeah, trips off the trips off the tongue that one. Uh, school bus. Right. Okay. On we go. Oh, I found a ticket machine. Oh, brilliant. Uh, I will gradually, accidentally. Oh, just wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. Right. Okay. We're going. We're going. Fix the Long Island Railroad DLC. What's wrong with the Long Island Railroad DLC? You have to tell me. I can't fix... I, well, firstly, I don't fix anything. Um, secondly, what's the problem? What's up with it? What's the problem? Who's, what's the issue? What's, the, what's, what's, what's your problem with it? Where's it going wrong? Why is it, why is it causing you discontent? Because uh, uh, you know, I'm I'm not aware of uh, of any uh, of any pervasive issues that it might have going on. Uh, is there an ICE or IC from Deutsche Bahn coming in Trade World? Never say never, but I think it's a it's a pretty safe bet that there'll be an ICE along at some point, almost certainly. But never say never. I have no information for you one way or another. I've got no information for you in any in any kind of a deal. Uh, and I've, I just I've got I can I can talk about stuff in a general sense, but I can't I can't tell you the things that you want to know, which are where's this, when's that coming, are you going to be doing this, and have you done that? But, <laughs> have you have you done that? I'm probably even going to be quite shaky on that as well, and uh, that stuff I should probably know. Uh, right, I see it would be awesome. I like the ICE a great deal. 4.5 mile high. Notch 3. Nah, notch loads. Uh, oh, come on, Vert. Put the effort in. You, you've got to use the word hype at the end of there as well. Uh, when I play Train Sim World, why do you have my voice in your head? Uh, it's quite straightforward. Firstly, you're named after Bingo Hazmat, which means you are, uh, you are well aware of my general antics. General antics. Um... And therefore, I would say you've possibly consumed too much. Uh, right. Okay. Good. Uh, you should really know the have you done. I really should. Uh, I got. I, I, all I can offer you on that one is I don't know, probably, maybe. I don't. Know. Uh, you'll have to. You'll have to ask. Uh, you, if you were to stick me in a pub quiz and ask me uh, name all the routes in Train Sim World, I'd go. Oh, there's that one with the German trains that I like. Yeah, which one? That, yeah, yeah, that one. Barn. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. How how I met your mother reference? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I am. I'm a I'm a pop culture dustbin. Uh, that's garbage can for those of you in America, uh, and uh, and therefore, uh, uh, yeah, I just regurgitate everything that I ever hear. Uh, will Elon Musk's Hyperloop be brought? Two train sim world. Yeah, probably about 20 minutes after Elon actually finishes building the thing. Presuming, of course, he hasn't run his business completely into the ground by that point. By making daft statements on social media. Train! I missed it. Oh, we could have had that outside. That would have been nice. Main Spessart one. I was, I was making an example. Aiden, I could probably name. Uh, Main Spessart one and Ryan Ruhr Austin. Uh, yeah, I, I, I know them. I know them all. Do I have the MP15? I do. I do have the MP15. Yes. Yes, I've driven it. I've got the M3 now as well. I just need to find an excuse to use that. I'll have a word with Mike the T-Boy because he decides what we're driving each week and uh, uh, and see if it would be amenable to me doing the M3 next week. Oh, I'm pretty sure I could. Pretty sure. Uh, the DPBR 204. I had a lot of fun with the 204. Not a lot of success, but a lot of fun. Uh, can I speak German? Ein bisschen. Yeah, genau. There you go. That's how I fox Germans. Mike the T Boy has so much power. He has a heck of a lot of power, does Mike the T Boy. Blow the horn. I tell, I'll do it coming out of the station and we'll, uh, we'll stage another Doppler demonstration. Uh, coming out of the next one. There we go. Uh, what's been the most surprising thing you've found about train sim audiences? Uh, interesting is... Okay, this I can tell you. Interesting is uh, the... Um, uh, 
uh, the division of age ranges of people who are trained simulator enthusiasts. Um, now, normally in video gaming, uh, if you were to take uh, the age group of oh, well, hold on, uh, the age group in which I sit, right? So, uh, so what would that be in my sense? Uh, kind of 35 to, to 45, right? Yeah, I know, I'm 46, but uh, you know, let's 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 say that I'm in that group for the time being because that group is cusp-based at the moment for reasons that will become uh, clear in a moment. Um, that group is Generation One gamer. Right? Generation One gamers right now are in their mid 40s. These are people for whom things like the ZX81 and so forth were brought in or were first released. Uh, whatever American equivalents exist out there. Um, you know, Apple... No, it's too late for the Apple II. Um, but they're first-generation games. Basically, these these ga machines on which you could play games were released when they were children. Uh, so, from that point, it's like they can re remember a time before having a games device. Um, but it wasn't a very long period, right? So they're, they're Generation 1 gamers. And normally, what you see is a spike at... Uh, well, no, you see that the curve kind of starts at the Generation 1 age group and then gets larger as you get younger, right? So when you get down to, uh, to those under the age of 18, um, which for privacy reasons we're not allowed to ask about anyone younger than that, uh, but under 18s tend to be the largest group, right? Makes sense. So it kind of starts high and then gradually tails off to the around 45-ish and then it drops like a stone. Um, but with train sim, it doesn't. No, it's flat. See, what? Yeah, totally flat. I kind of hosed the, lot, the landing there. Did not apply enough brake at the end of it, but it'll, it's still close enough for government work. Um, so there you go. Yeah, so... Uh, uh, you're 73, you're the oldest, not by a long shot. No, 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 no. I, it, and that's that's what's interesting, is because uh, you think about people being fans of a platform before the thing that they're playing on the platform, uh, and, it's, and it's actually the other way around, is that uh, it is the trains that bring people to the platform, figuratively and literally, uh, rather than uh, the fact that they owned the thing to do other stuff on in the first place. Uh, you've also got, you know, uh, uh, people who, who were uh, early adopters of, you know, video gaming in one fashion or another, um, but were already of a, uh, of a higher age, but never, never really kind of grew out of it. But people who adopted games as kids are gamers for life. And, uh, and that's why you tend to see a, a, the, 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 the end of kind of the big chunk is in the kind of 40 to 50 year mark at the moment. It's not going to be that long, you know, before uh, before everybody is all gaming all day, you know, because everyone would have grown up with it. Oh, yeah. I was a bit late into Palo Alto. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, I know. They'll get over it. It's okay. Uh, right. You're glad I'm driving. I'm late arriving to Palo Alto. It scares me when trains are on time. <laughs> yeah. I slowed down a bit early. Uh... Why wasn't the pacer at the first train of trains in the world? All right, look, listen, FaZe. You ask, you're, you're a pacer obsessive, so I'm going to throw some shade at you. It's because the pacer sucks. And we all hate it. There you are. That's the answer. It's not the answer to lie. Uh, in the beginning, there was... Uh, no, in the beginning, there was space war. No, 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 true, actually. The Atari, whatever it was called, 2260 or whatever the heck it was. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's, 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 the, that's kind of your first era of gamers there. Now, you have, uh, you've, you've got two other kind of first era uh, waves that are on their, on their migration forwards as well. Uh, you've, got, uh, you've got Generation 1 internet users uh, so, you know, people who, for whom they were children when the internet really started getting kind of mass appeal. So, you know, late 90s, uh, a late 90s group going on there. And then a third wave, which is uh, first generation, always connected smartphoneists. Um, and, you know, and they're still quite young now, but, uh, 
Uh, but yeah, and these are dictating the way that that technology adapts and evolves. Uh, yeah, there you go. And what you're getting right now is the thing is that uh, these first generation gamers are the ones who are running. By and large, I mean, it's, I, I generalise quite a bit here. We're going to have to grip this one quite stiffly. Um, uh, who are now heading up the companies that are building games? So uh, they're, you know, they're, they're standing on a, a lifetime's worth of of understanding and knowledge of uh, of games, having you know, having had them as part of their lives since they were children. By and large, it's, I mean, it's a bit of a generalisation. Um, but you know, it's it's a thing. There you go. Yeah. Right. Yes. Here we go. Uh, where are we now? California Avenue. Beg your pardon. Sorry, I, I, I dropped my narrative there a moment. I went on a moment of introspection, and, uh, and you know, and and the commentary disappeared as a result. I apologise for that. This is not one of those streams where the person on the streams just sits there mute, doing the thing. No. I say quite a lot while sort of doing the thing, sort of okay-ish. Right, there we are. Oh, I didn't hoot at the last one. Uh, right. Why sub? Hello? Noah? Hello? Moggy? Lose the spam? Which spam are we talking about here? Uh, I'm not seeing it. Someone's obviously got there before me. Uh, I presume you also see a big difference in male versus female audiences. That's very genre-based. Um, is it a surprise that Train Simulation is largely full of fellas? Not really, no. Uh, but you look at Train Appreciation generally to see that there is definitely a tilt in the direction of it being kind of uh, uh, mostly men, let's say. But that's only in the sense of, uh, if you look at people who are, you know, who study fashion, for example, and I don't mean, you know, they go to the shop and buy a bunch of clothes. That's not where I'm aiming with this. It's like, you know, they uh, they have this, a similar level of uh, of enjoyment about fashion history, uh, whether that's uh, millinery or whether that's shoe design or these kinds of things, uh, where that skews in the opposite direction. I think that there is, either through social conditioning or that's just how it's turned out, um, that there is something of a gender split going on in there. Uh, we do, interestingly enough, um, those who ha are, we do, we do as many people who are uh, non-traditionally gendered uh, people as we have uh, women who are, who are part of the team. Um, yeah. And non-traditionally gender is not the right way to, to, uh, to do it. And they prefer to self-describe is the way to go. Non-cis is, uh, is what people describe it as. Uh, so there you go. Yeah, so as many as, uh, as, as female fans. Which is really interesting. Uh, you know, there you go. How am I? I'm flipping elusive. There you go. That's my uh, adjective of the way. There are quite a few women too. Of course there are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying that there is nothing like exclusivity, no exclusivity going on. But it is, the audience is around 94% male. Yeah. D draw what conclusions you will. I, uh, you know, I think when it comes to, uh, to motor racing, you're probably going to have something similar. When it comes to all manner of things, you know, uh, players of... EVE Online or Elite Dangerous, uh, you know, the spaceship fans, I mean spaceship fans, not science fiction fans, no, 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 science fiction is all inclusive, uh, but, uh, but the games where f first and foremost you're playing as a spaceship, uh, they have a similarly high mix of, uh, of male versus female. Um, it's just the way it is. I mean, I run a YouTube channel, right? Okay, so many of you know this already. And, uh, and my audience is 94% male. Now, I don't only cover trains. I cover all kinds of nonsense. But it is a 94% male uh, audience that I have there. So there you go. It's not about sexism. It's about... Um, yeah, no. It, 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 facts are just facts, right? And, and, but the, rule, the, the basic rule is everybody is free to play whatever they like, to like whatever they like. And, uh, you know, that's that's really all there is to it. And, 
uh, you know, we, do, we, we draw no conclusions from that, uh, except for maybe women aren't that into trains. And there can be any number of reasons for that. Uh, you know, that can be a social engineering thing of, you know, certainly when I grew up, it would have been a little bit unusual if I'd have been given uh, a Barbie, a Cindy, God, it would have gone British. But I've been given a Cindy for my birthday because I went like, I really want a Cindy because I want to be a fashion designer when I'm older. Um, would have been unusual. Uh, you know, or my sister goes, uh, no, what I really want is a train set. I mean, my dad would have been thrilled, obviously, but it turns out I wanted a train set. And so he was thrilled anyway. Um, but, uh, but no, it's, uh, yeah, I, everyone can like absolutely everything. But there is a certain amount of social conditioning into who likes what. And hopefully we can work towards getting away from some of that. Um, uh, is Train Simulator working with two monitors? Yeah, as far as I know. I, uh, I play it with three monitors. So, uh, yeah, I don't get me. Two monitors? Nah. Thank you, only me. Spotted the 4.5 mile hype and acknowledged it accordingly. I didn't blow the hooter again. Okay, right, I'll set us up. Hold on. Alright, let's find something interesting to look at here. Uh, there we go. Alright, and right, here we are. Ready? Right, we're going to let that go out of shot. And then we'll Superman cam. All right, hang on. And then we'll try some Colonel cam with it as well. What are we doing? 65. It's a little bit too slow. Uh, no, a little bit too fast, rather. There we go. We'll start off like this. Rock it along here. Not quite got the angle. See, a bit too slow. The camera movement, not the train. The train's doing whatever speed the train feels like doing. Belt. Right, there we are. Frazzle gun. Hello. Uh, it's all about your hardware and setup and graphical settings. I, there are numerous reasons why it might throw a wobbly. Um, the best thing I can suggest is make sure you're trying to run it in the native resolution for the monitor that you're playing on. Um, which, unless you've got some kind of fancy pants monitor, is likely to be 1920 by 1080. That will usually make the difference. The other thing you could try to do it is sit it in a uh, in a window. So Alt Enter, you should be able to get it play in windowed mode. That might give you some more flexibility. And if that doesn't work, then I suggest get in touch with customer service, and they will help troubleshoot what's going on there. Uh, right there we are. That's, that's 100 percent an e-bell well it's obviously an e-bell well it's a d-bell on this one digital um uh whether or not that is a, a representation of reality or not i couldn't tell you we are going a smidge slow here uh we're not actually we're not uh, we're going to be a couple of minutes behind schedule but it's, that's not the end of the world uh thanks for the great stream colonel popcorn yeah you're more than welcome i'm i'm done yet i mean i'm nearly there but we've we've got to go to santa santa the jose Two miles uh, before you've got time to show us the passenger's deck at the top. We'll do. Okay, yep, we'll do. I'll, I'll make that a thing. We'll do it. Uh, it is the same in real life. Okay, fair play. Thank you, Noah. Good knowledge. Sharing a good knowledge is always welcome here on the Dovetail uh, Railfan TV. I need to come up with a rail, a rail TV theme tune some kind that we can I can push it on a button and I mean obviously I need to reconfigure my buttons anyway but uh, you know we've got all that kind of business uh, it's a, it's an email in, in real life yeah. when is NASCAR coming to TSW I'd be all about that I love me a bit of NASCAR love it uh, yeah I, know, I think NASCAR's fab I mean, obviously, it's got, it has all kinds of baggage that comes with it, but, you know, doesn't matter. NAS, NASCAR's great fun. Uh, I've been watching some of the, uh, some of the virtual NASCAR uh, that they've been running while, uh, while everybody's been hiding in their own seclusion. Uh, and that's been quite good fun now, too, but they are actually showing the real thing again. Uh, doo -doo -doo. You're lucky you have buttons to press. Thanks, yeah. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, all right. When I was your age, I didn't have buttons. Yeah, I know. 
Ah, oh, there it is. Uh, right, 400 yards. We're going to be probably two minutes behind schedule. Okay, that's, that's within tolerance. Uh, right, is it on a bit more? Yeah, no, now, ah, now it has been a little bit slow to come to a full stop from kind of under 10 miles per hour. So we'll go with quite a lot of brakes here. Yeah, it's been slower to come to a full stop than you're expecting it to. Well, okay, well, you know, you've given it quite a lot of, quite a lot of whiz there. I'll let people know I'm stopping. There you go. Let's wake them up. Right, there you are. Come on, and give it the juice. Give it the juice. Under 10 is what I'm after. That'll do. Right. Get out. Okay. No, 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 no. I always do that. It's because I think I need to press tab again. I'm playing on PC. No, no, no. Just don't, don't worry. You haven't got time. Okay. Right. Get out of my way. We've got to go and look upstairs. The people demand it. Here we go. I feel jolly tall up here. Whee! Uh, door locked. No, it's not. Yeah. 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 We're already late, aren't we? All right. Oh, yeah, this is fun. Oh, I could do this for a while. Okay. I'm going to go randomly find something on the platform. There you go. That's the upstairs. What have you missed? Oh, the usual. Uh, ticket machines. Give me a ticket machine. Come on. You said I've I found a ticket machine previously. I want to find that one. Maybe it's not that one. Maybe it's this one. Woohoo! Yeah, I found a ticket machine. Oh, my life is complete. Uh, right. I've also got a fixed broken stuff, I seem to recall. Maybe if I can find one. Ah, I don't know. Uh, upstairs hype. Yes. Uh-oh. Pasty update. Uh, not not Ace Gamer 07. My pasties failed, so you ordered a Just Eat. Did you order a Greg's Just Eat? Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, personally. I've got nothing against Greg's. Uh, if you're out and about, nothing wrong with a bit of Greg's. But, uh... You know, I would if if you've got the whole the whole wealth of just eatery available to you, then you know there are there are finer choices available. Right, punch it, Chewy. Take the break off, Captain. Yeah, all right. I'm I'm, I'm building up the juice before we release the goats. We're gonna get a lead, like launch control. It's like drag racing. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. That's totally what this train's all about. That's one. You got a chippy. Ah, that's all right then. Now, do you are you a peas or a curry sauce kind of a fella? Huh? Who is it? Well, yeah, I'm fine. If you go with neither, that's okay. But uh, there is a divide. Uh, all gravy, obviously. If you are uh, from the north of the country, accepting it with gravy is is fine. Your uh, bingo's off to the chippy after this. Yeah, that's, that's good gravy. Yeah. No, reversal already was forwards. There you go. Give it full full whack here, because we're out of time. But uh, the next stop is the last one, so we'll pretty much we'll finish it off. Uh, horn for the crossing. I'm so busy watching the chat and looking at everything else. I will I will horn for the crossing if I can. But I think you know it's safe to say most of the time I won't. Steak, kidney pie, curry, and chips and peas. Flipping it, edgy. There's a lot going on there. Uh, steak, kidney, pie, curry, and chips. Get it. Totally. Totally get it. Peas, however. No, that's the dark side you're talking about there. No, you're leading me down a path I cannot follow. Uh, Anakin. Uh, no. But Anakin ain't mushy peas. Not me. No. Herself does mushy peas. And it's just wrong. It's just, just evil. It's not, it's not a good colour, for starters. Peas are not that colour in the wild. And therefore... It's not right. Now, I freely admit <clears throat> that whatever chemical concoction the curry's made out of, that's not exactly authentic, homegrown, organic ingredients now. But even so, it tastes great. Peas don't taste great. Fresh garden peas, no problem at all. Yeah, got no problem with that. Cat and bird's eye gets my money any day of the week. Uh, but, uh, no, can't be doing it. Horn for Lawrence, please. Who's Lawrence and why does he deserve a horn? There you go. And your wish is my command. We're on CCTV. They're wondering what I'm doing. 
but uh, they keep giving me these gigs, so you know they can wander as freely as a cloud. Uh, lonely, lonely as a cloud. Lonely as a cloud. Uh, you were hilarious when you played Derail Valley. You laughed like crazy. Um, to say that that went very nicely from a recording perspective is an understatement. <clears throat> it writes itself. Uh, the station. I've no idea where Lawrence is. You can go, Lawrence, in the chat, and if I spot it in time, I'll hoot. There you go. Lawrence is the next station. It's not. San Jose Diridon is the next station. Yeah. Is there a 64-bit version of Train Simulator 2020? Yes, there is. When you uh, when you load it up in Steam, it will go. Do you want to play the 32-bit or the 64-bit? Choose the 64-bit. If you're running a 64-bit operating system, it will probably crash if you try the 32-bit. Who is Lawrence? And what does he want? He wants the horn. I flipped my train over. Nice. I passed it. Alright, have a have a retrospective horn in respect of Lawrence. Lawrence, we miss you. Come back soon. There you go. Right, we haven't done anywhere near enough Kerbal Gang today. There you go. Right. No, no, no. What are you doing? You're not even sent a digger. Woohoo! Uh, right, okay, let's go. This is good, this is good, this is good. Yeah! Me zipping by with me door open. Perfect. Uh, yeah, that's good. Also, where is it? Come on. In the chat. Come on. You missed it. You missed it. I don't know. I'm trying to teach. I'm trying to train you people. Ha 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 ha. To, you know, to make it look like you're regulars, you see. And that way, new people coming in. If 20 of you all go 4.5 mile hype, they'll all go, what's this? What? What? Is that an in-joke? I don't... I'm giving you an in-joke uh, that only you will know about. Right? You know, just... Uh, it's fine to use all caps, not Ace Gamer, as long as you don't do it all the time. Right? Just don't do it all the time. Once in a while, for emphasis, is perfectly acceptable. All the time, not. What's this? Uh, Foggiano, 91. Metete Trene Italiani. Okay, good. Regrettably, however, my Italian is awful. I am, I'm virtually no Italian going on. I blocked the whole thing with my face cam. Then I will let you off. Okay, that's reason. That's reasonable. Okay, that's a good excuse. Uh, I'll allow it. There we are. Yeah. Emphasis. Yes, quite. Emphasis is all important. Uh, right. Wait. There is a mixer TSW hype emote. Oh, there you go. See? That's what you need to do. No speak English. You don't speak English or, you, or, or, or I should continue speaking English. Fortunately... An approximation of English is what I'm going for. Uh, so you can go faster. Nah, I don't need to. It's obvious that I can go faster. I'm easing it off. I've done a reasonably good job at staying under the limit, so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to monkey with that. Oh, a 40 coming up. Thank you. Good heads up there. I wouldn't have looked at that, you know. We could have. We could have run red lights like a dozen times in uh, in this stream. I have not been paying attention to the information that has been presented to me. Yeah, no, this is good. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's, it's all right. We've got this. Easy peasy. Yeah. Easy peasy. Yeah, okay, that'll probably do. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that'll probably do. All right. Good. All right. Good. Horn for last stop, please. I will do. I will. Uh, when we're when I feel like we're we you know we're entering the uh, the final countdown, I'll uh, I'll give it some hooter, and that'll be that'll be grand. Horn for Santa Clara Station. No. no, no. Well, there you go. There's a couple of platforms. Have a horn. There you are. Enjoy it. I'll do what I can. All right. Half a mile, 20 mile an hour. Okay. No problem. Peace, gate. Easy peasy. All right. And there's a... There is a cat biscuit. Oh, I don't even know. Moony out the window. Moon out the window. I don't think so. 
I, I, I don't think that would be appropriate. No. I'd probably get fired. Although, no, my luck, I'd probably catch myself on a catenary pole. Not that this has catenary, you understand, but uh, everyone else calls it catenary, incidentally, but I prefer to call it catenary because it's just more fun. Um, no, I'd catch, me, I'd catch my rear end on a piece of scaffolding and do myself quite the mischief. And me, without health insurance. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, probably ought to be slowing down, I suppose. Uh, right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right, getting it done. Making it happen. Oh, it's all there. It's all here. It's all everywhere. It's all It's all we're talking about. Uh, right, okay, got that. Uh, when your stream ends, you should raid Matt's channel. I'm not going to stop you raiding Matt's channel. If you want to raid Matt's channel, you can. What am I doing on Monday? Absolutely no clue. Not at the moment. Not at the moment. No. No, afraid not. Yeah. Afraid, afraid not. Don't know. I haven't been told. Mike, Mike T-Boy hasn't told me yet. In fact, actually, he probably has. Because uh, before Dimitri legged it, uh, he, uh, he did leave a schedule for the whole month. Um, but I, I already went, at, I already looked at a couple and went, oh, can't I do something else instead? And I went, yeah, all right, you can. I went, thanks. Ooh, what do I fancy doing in Train Simulator? They like it. Mike, Mike T-Boy, he, he appreciates it when I go, ooh, you know what would be fun to do in Train Sim 1? And then say something that, you know, is actually a route. Uh, yeah, he, he approves of that kind of behaviour. What do you think, Gantry Signal Hooter? I reckon. There we go. In your face. Right. Oh, we've got a red coming up. Hydra. Oh, no, the, the red is actually after the stop. Oh, it's okay. We'll be good. I am over limit. Oh, not again. All right. It's okay. We'll be all right. It's, uh, we'll be good. When am I supposed to arrive? 45. I'm a minute and a half behind. That's okay. Minute and a half. That's, that's respectable. Uh, for Train Sim 2020, can you recommend a good DLC that has some decent tutorials? What do you want a tutorial in? How to drive it in the first place? Um, or, or something else? Uh, a trail. What? A trail. Uh, what is Dovetail Support going to do? Hold on, A trail. I seem to have missed the start of your, uh, your, your, your narrative thrust there. I don't. I don't have the. Uh, don't have the start of it. Yeah. If you'd like to go again, uh, you know, if you, you know, if you, if you've got an axe to grind, my friends, I am quite happy to have you grind it in this direction, and I can give you a rebuttal. Uh, right. There you go. And oh, we're going to come up a bit, a bit short of the target zone, but that's close enough. Uh, right, unlock the rights, and then, uh, then hang in there. 4.5 yard height? Well, possibly. Uh, right, okay. Speed reduction hooter? No. <laughs> they are, no. Uh, I assume you get tutorials from the DLCs on train simulator? Not all the time, no. You And they, they can be a little bit patchy. Um, but uh, Train Sim World, you do get it for everything, which I know is, I mean, that's no consolation if, uh, if Train Simulator is the way you're going. But it, it depends what do you actually want to learn, uh, and presumably how to operate the locomotive, maybe? Uh, some kind of a walkthrough of the uh, gold medal. I earned that. I earned that by driving it well. Yes. All uh, right. Good. DTG got plenty of money. Uh, not millions, but they made plenty of cash. Yeah, you know what we spent it on? We spent all that cash. You know what we spent it on? Paying the people who made the stuff. And uh, and now we need to keep selling stuff in order to pay the people to make more stuff. It's uh, it's relatively straightforward. Uh, the DTG is a profitable business, but not a big profitable business. It's, uh, it's a good, solid, profitable business. But ain't... Ain't nobody driving Ferraris. Let's put it that way. Uh, right, okay, there you go. Uh, gold medal hype. Uh, there are tutorials on how to drive everything in... T no, it's TSW, though. He's asking about Train Simulator. 
Uh, do I think Trans France is coming one day in Train Sim World? Never say never, but I've got nothing specific for you right now. Yeah. Uh, right. Okie dokie. No, 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 no. It's okay. Look, look, people are allowed to be... You know, they're allowed to voice their opinion. And if, they're, if their opinion is a negative one, they're allowed to voice it. Just telling them to, you know, ignore it is... You're not going to convince anybody of anything doing that. Look how many times I broke the speed limit. Look at that. Just barely. Here, maybe... No, no, that was right on the money. Right at the end I did as well. But just once. Hey, I don't even know what's going on. Uh, yeah, don't, don't even know what's going on. Right. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in today. Uh, Matt is back tomorrow, and I actually had it up earlier. Hold on. I had the I had the whatnot up. What have I done? Oh no, it's over there. Uh, right. Hold on. Hold on. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what he's playing. Because uh, uh, you know he's he's going to take some valuable time out on his Sunday, and he'll be doing. I'll oh, flipping find a bat flame thing flicking flaming. What not? Right, Sunday, 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 Sunday is can't sit at that resolution. Bring it over onto this one. Uh, still can't sit. Now I can. He's doing West Somerset. Oh, cheeky blighter! I wanted to do that one. Hey, oh. Joe, you totally have a right to voice your opinion. Just be, you know, nice about it. That's all. Um, right, good. There we are. West Somerset. Yeah, it's a nice line. The only thing I don't like about West Somerset is that you're limited to 25 if you're playing by the rules, but, you know, that's okay. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, have yourselves a pleasant rest of the day, and I'll be back next week with the next thrilling adventure here on Can't Remember the Buttons. It's this one. You sure? Yeah, well, you've lost your preview system because you've got Matt's flip. No, I didn't do anything. Should have done. No, wrong one. It's not that one. It's not that one. Well, which one is it? It's this one. Uh, is it? Oh, yes, it is. Good. All right. Well, you always get it right the third time. So, uh, so that's good. Splendid. All right. Cheerio, everybody. <laughs>